looking at it and it. <laughs> rubby, 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 rubby. All right, so I'm still working on an area to eventually put all my Botania stuff. That'll be over here where the animals used to be. But uh, until that comes to fruition, I guess I'll start on some other stuff. So the end game is to get into creative and make all this stuff. And to do that, I need a bunch of stuff. Charm of Wither 2 I can probably make, but this thing requires antimatter as opposed to uncle matter. And all these things require all sorts of weird things. So this one would require, I have to work on nuclear stuff. Because nuclear stuff will get me the antimatter that I need. The nuclear stuff from uh, Mechanism, which can blow up. But I need polonium. A lot of it. That's one thing, there's a lot of things to do in here. I also need Endgame Botania. Yeah, this thing still requires polonium as well. I gotta work through F uh, the uh, Industrial Contraptions, which is Industrial Craft. That's just Forbidden Arcanist, I can make that, I know how to do that already. That doesn't look too hard. Advanced monitor, just golden glass. Advanced solar panel I already made. Then we need FTB nukes. This thing requires a whole bunch of concrete. This thing is Botania. That is a lot of unobtainium. More antimatter. Can probably make this. I have no idea what occult ritual is. But this means I have to work through pneumatic craft as well. So much stuff. Should we work on some pneumatic craft stuff? No, not pneumatic craft. Create. Start working through here. Polished stone quartz. How do we make it? Enrichment chamber for rose quartz. Or deploying. Let's make a schematic table first, I guess. Schematic table. Easy enough. No idea what this is going to do. Give me a schematic and quill. Schematic cannon. The cannon will build the structures from schematics, taking materials from nearby chests and using gunpowder as fuel. I mean, easy enough to make. <laughs> schematic cannon. Right, engineer's goggles. Did you see your con contractions in more detail? It will show things as rotation, speed, and stress. Goggles. Put these in here. And see stuff. Don't actually have to wear it as armor. Speedometer and stressometer. That means andesite casing. Alright, how's deployer work? Rotation of force deployer can imitate player interactions. Always interact with position two blocks in front of itself. Blocks right in front will not obstruct it. You can place blocks, use items, activate blocks, harvest blocks, and attack mobs. Just poke! I click the item to give it an item to use. Huh. And it can also be inserted automatically. Deployers carry a filter slot. Filter set it matches only when holding a matching item. Only items matching the filter can now be inserted. Boop. And only non-matching items will be extracted. This thing can be such a hoe. Using a wrench against set to imitate a left click instead. If the fitting item held, deployers can process items provided beneath them. Input items can be dropped or placed on a depot under the deployer. Boop. Whoa. Boop. Boop. I'm getting complicated. You can turn them on and off. And using redstone. No more poking for you. Negative faults can be used to trigger exactly one activation cycle. And there's a lot in this. Your deployers are moved as part of an automated contraption. <coughs> activate at each visit location using items from inventories anywhere on the contraption. Put a slot can be used to specify which items to pull. Red flowers. Pretty. Pretty. Alright, all done. Alright, we're gonna need some andesite alloy. I feel like that's enough andesite alloy. Where does that show up? Oh, it shows up here. Alright, now we go through all these things. Radial chassis. You can be used similar to super glue. We'll connect blocks and line on the sides without the need for glue. Right, I guess we'll make one of these. I guess it makes three. And some of these. Andesite tunnel. Tunnels can be placed on belts and they will filter items that pass through them. You can link multiple tunnels by placing next to each other. Dried kelp. I got some kelp, didn't I? Process some kelp. 
Cards simply can be placed on tracks. Anything you build on top of it will be picked up by a minecart mine card if assembler has a redstone signal. Blocks must be glued together and any blocks requiring rotational force will automatically be working. To unmount the blocks from the minecart, simply turn off the redstone signal and let the minecart ride through. Make that. Mechanical belts. Belts can be placed between two shafts to transfer mobs, items, or simply transportational energy from one point to another. 45, 90, 180 degrees from each other. Shaft. I need so much dried kelp. So that's how I'm gonna have I'm gonna eventually have this working through it. Until it gets to that. Make some shafts. A large cogwheel. Eight of them. I need three of these. Water wheels. Oh, more cogwheels. More water wheels. One of the most basic ways of generating rotational force. You can have multiple wheels by placing next to each other. The speed it's rotating at is measured by how many flowing water blocks are touching the wheel. That's wheelie good. Right, small cogwheels. Need more of those. Get more cogwheels. White sail. It's for sail. Come with the rail chest to create a very powerful windmill that has high stress capacity. And make a basin. Starting to work through kelp. I guess I could just make this an enrichment chamber. Sandpaper polishing. Is there a thing for sandpaper? Really? Only macerating? Just use regular sandpaper. There's lots of plenty of rose quartz. <laughs> sandpaper, 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 sand oh it repairs itself too. <laughs> rubby, 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 rubby. There's eight times polished quartz. Fuck it. I don't want polished quartz, I'll just do this. So much faster. Get sandpaper. Are we working through the kelp yet? What's going on with the processing here? Oh, everything's still working through these seeds. Never mind, it's gonna be a little while. Because I need more essence. Alright, well I'm waiting on kelp. Boop. Manual item application. Stripped log. Just throw an andesite alloy on it. Just use the cutting board. Do I still have my cutting board? Oh yeah, I do. Do I have an axe I can use on it? Doesn't seem cuttable. Cut. Yeah, stripped oak log. So I can just put down a thing and just cut it like that. I think we'll just keep putting these down and chopping them. How many do we need? So you just put this down. Smoke this with it. Alright, that gives andesite casing. <laughs> How much andesite casing I'm gonna need? One for that, one for a depot, one for pulley. That's three. Each of these require it? Fuck it, might as well make 16. Boop, 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 boop. There. <laughs> or else I'm starting to drop loads of kelp. I was throwing more. Dupe that kelp. Alright, the harvest will harvest any crops that goes over it is. If it's connected to anywhere, the items will be stored in it. Let's make plates like this. Even though it's more expensive, I have plenty of iron. Do I need mechanical press? Mechanical drill? Mechanical saw? Plowing? Electron tube? Need to melt some zinc and copper. Melt quickly! Shit's so hot. And there goes... Here comes some bronze. Or brass. Mm, shit's mixing together. Alright, so I got some brass being worked on. Chain drive. Gear shift. Gear butt box. And that's clutch. Propeller. Let's we make encased fan. There's a gantry carriage. Whatever all this shit does. How are you looking here? There's your molten brass. Boop! Fill that in. And just get sucked in. So many brass blocks being made. 24 more. 11 blocks left. All but two. There we go, got a bunch of brass. Make some plates. Make a brass hand. Make a tube. And a deployer. 
Make another two. Make this adjustable. All right, progress. Search for funnel. So we need andesite funnel. Got to cook some kelp. That's melting. And done. So we need andesite funnel. Andesite tunnel. That's all done. Down here. Need a compass. Make a speedometer. Change it to a stressometer. Also need a mechanical piston. Make it slimy. Office depot. And gold plate. Into a weighted ejector. Making all this stuff, but I don't know what any of it does. We need a rope pulley. Alright, so these are all done. These are all done. These are all done. Alright, what's going on here? Super glue. So we can use attached blocks to each other to move them with pistons or other means. Super glue. Blaze burner. Mysterious conversion. Right click a blaze with the empty burner to capture it. Huh. Blazes can be collected from their spawners directly. We have an ideal heat source for various machines. Interesting. Empty blaze burners can also be lit using flint and steel. We transferred using a soul infused item. Without a blaze, they are not suitable for industrial heating. Got it. Make an empty blaze burner. <laughs> you should make brass here. <laughs> Copper casing. Aw, oh, shoot! Make four of them. Smart shoot. Better shoot. How more anisite casings do I need? I feel like not only one, just one more. Cut up more of these. Boop you. Whoops. Helps if it's the alloy. Boop. Alright, now let's attend a mixer. Need a whisk. Easy. Alright, mixing that shit up. Suddenly lightning. Oh, we need brass. Did it. I need another andesite casing here. One andesite and two brass casing. There's two brass casings. And an andesite casing. I also need copper casings. Three copper casings, it looks like. There's so much copper. I need brass tunnel. Brass tunnels. Brass funnels. Portable storage interface. Done. Flywheel. I right, need a mechanical crafter and a mechanical arm. Precision mechan- whoa! Huh. Beat sequence- oh, all right, looks like I actually have to get some stuff. It's like, now you actually have to work at it. Now let's make a dried kelp block. A copper plate. And hose pulley. And make a spout. A portable fluid interface. All right, and blaze cake takes some work. I guess we should go capture a blaze. There's plenty of them in the other. Yep, immediate. Gotcha! And we'll port home. Alright, so now we gotta actually have to learn how this stuff works. And here's how you connect stuff. Electrodes connect into each other at right angles. Will help relaying conveyed speed to other axes of rotation. In case in Whoa. Brass or NSI casings can be used to decorate cogwheels. After encasing will not connect to the shaft outputs. Unless you use a wrench. Right, components will use make uh, use of rotational for there's so much stuff. Cuckoo clock? Alright, mechanical press can press items beneath it. it. Can be dropped or placed on a depot under the press. I'm impressed. And then you provide them on a belt. Pressing items in the basin will cause them to be compacted. And crunch. Compact includes any filled 2x2 two two or 3x3 with your crafting mirrors, plus a couple extra ones. Some of these recipes may require the heat of a blaze burner. The filter slot can be used to case two recipes into conflict. Two recipes are conflicting. Just in case. Huh. I still don't know how to generate force. <laughs> I mean, there's the water wheel. Hand crank. Whoa, windmill bearing. That's a lot of RPM. 
Whoa, steam engine. Alright, so you, you, you have kinetic output from a steam engine. Whoa. Heat, water, and boiler space. Generate rotational force. The moment setup requires four fluid tanks. <laughs> Just blaze it. Whoa. The blaze burner's power output can be increased. Whoa. More water, size, and heat. Power level can be inspected with the engineer's goggles. <laughs> an, act an additional engine can output at full capacity. I see. Whoa. <laughs> now we're playing with power. So how do we get better blaze shit? Blaze burners wear out? Time to ponder them. Blaze burners can provide heat. This blaze has to be fed with flammable items. With a blaze cake, the burner can reach an even stronger level of heat. The feeding process can be automated using deployers or mechanical arms. Liquid fuel burning. Give the blaze burner a straw. <coughs> Liquid fuels by buckets. Or by pipes. I guess first things first, I have to create that engine thingy. Gonna need some more blazes. What in the blazes? Hi, blazes. Bye, blazes. Then we go home. So can I just give them lava then? They're looking at me. I'll just make more of these. Manual rotation force. How about wind- Whoa! Alright, then you have a windmill. That seems like a lot of work. What does electric motor make? Compact and configurable source of rotational force. Huh. I mean, I can do that. So I can just instantly do that. I don't have to worry about all that other shit. Let's take the crap this. Well, shit. <laughs> Seems like a lot of stuff. I think I don't think it's that. It's too hard to craft all this stuff. It doesn't look too bad. All right, how do mechanical crafters work? Can be used to automate any crafting recipe. In which the crafter's path can be arranged. We're about to set up all paths have to converge into one exit on any side. So we place the inventory at the exit. This requires require rotational force to operate. Right click the front to insert items manually. I see. It's kind of cool. If you're not fully occupying the crafter's out, the start can be forced using a redstone pulse. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so I do need some rotational force. <laughs> They're staring at me. I know, so I'm eventually going to need a lot of these. Let's make lots of these. Yeah, because I have enough RF to last me forever, so... Or for a good while now. I'm going to set up a bunch like that for now. I need a cogwheel here. Just make everything go down. And out this side. Then lever. Just shove a hand crank on here. Need higher. Okay. <laughs> Suppose you have to actually do some sort of progression towards that. My first time fiddling with this stuff. I don't know how any of it works. Alright, so we're gonna need fluid tanks. We need a steam engine. Can you guys eat these? Yes. <laughs> and I can make a sink. And we'll get some fluid in there. Whoa. <laughs> Wee! Spin! Oops, didn't mean to do that. There, now we get spinner Rooney's going. How long does this last for? Anyway, the only reason I wanted this is for the motor. I need some of these. Snip those. That gives us these. Oh, I guess I only needed three of them. Alright, so we just want to right click them in. Oh, yeah, and a side alloy. Alright, just give it a redstone signal. Oh, there they go! Pop out here. Yep, oh, I got the electric motor. Sweet! This thing can just take... Can just tell it how much it wants. Huh. Alright, fiddle with engine. Oh, faster. Oh, faster! Overstressed. Spin a Rooney. Spin. 
Spin. We spin, spin, spin a Rooney. All right. <laughs> okay, so using that we can complete here, right? Let's deploy. Oh, okay. We already have that. We need to deploy stuff. The hell do you guys want? Can't you see I'm trying to learn shit here? Anyways, I have my special engine so I can get stuff done. And again, it only has what? Not quite as strong. You're gonna need some more mechanical belts, right? Let's remove that for now. <laughs> Which we're gonna need many mechanical crafters. Because for one thing, this mechanical crafter is 55. That is a lot of mechanical crafting. Or you just make a Patrick comb. <laughs> Let's use this for all of our mechanical needs. Gonna need some mechanical belts. Oh, I never finished the mechanical belt quest. I guess I did now. Aha! Uh -huh. I hope we just make it go faster. Oh, fast belt! <laughs> and we need some deploy. <laughs> poke you, poke you. This is like probably so inefficient. Shaft. I have no idea if I'm doing this right. Alright, so there's one, two, three, four, five. Did it! Precision mechanism. I'm so smart. SMRT. What does this do? Oh, is it like. Is it like the inserters from Factorio? Or we'll target the blocks placed previously. <laughs> yep. Any amount of inputs within their range. Funnels and depots can help bridge that gap. That's if you want to use the different, uh, different inventories. Oh, really, I just wanted to finish off this thing. Alright, now it's just the blaze cake. I just gotta blaze that cake. We need a basin, right? We need to deploy above it. And we need the mechanical press. I'm impressed. I'll just do it over here. That below. And what do we need inside of it? Cinder flour, sugar egg. Oh, I gotta crush some netherrack. Whoa! Alrighty then. It's like all of this stuff was easy, then you have just these last couple where it's just like, you have to advance. 3553. Five, and looks like it'll make its way out. All around there. Put on some planks. And a stone. Spin. Oh, that was quick. Speed! Speed! I feel like this thing's amazing. <laughs> Anyways, I created the thing I needed with this. And they're both going the same way. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> there, something like that. Aha! Uh -huh. Cinder flower. Cool. Alright, you can handle a lot of shit, huh? I'm gonna toss that stuff in. Compress. Ah, blaze cake base. I'm gonna show the depot here. This here. It's about there. Can't just right click, can we? Nope. <laughs> Do I have to use the mechanical stuff? Or can I just do this? That works. Aha. Uh -huh. We have finished create! So we have to use create to make these with 55. That's gonna be a lot. That's gonna be very stressful. I feel like I'm probably gonna need this to, to do that. Right, I also got some fertilizer. I can finally make this. Looks like all these machines are complete. Go back to these machines over here. I'll use up the rest of this latex. Cause I need to get some red, some pink slime into here. So I'll make some more machine frames. Cause I need more machine frames. What do I need for this? Infinity saw, pink slime, and pink slime, and pink slime. Do I have enough pink slime? Yes. Work, work. So much of the stuff here is just optional. 
So let's eventually this one, the rest of these be optional as well. And I used up our latex. Alright, nine gold gears. You two range add on tier 12s. Two of these. Sorry, three of these. And a pickaxe. And a sword. And three of these. One of these. Alright, black hole tank, black hole unit, black hole unit, black hole tank. There, that should be everything. Got 6,000 in there. Let's put these down. Is this right? Yes, this looks right. Units and tanks. Give us the infinity backpack. And something like this? Yes. This gives us infinity hammer. And then this. Gives us infinity saw. Well, that's a lot of RF for the next tier. We RF. Use up some of that RF. So now I have a lot of it. We power. And tier. Let's make them all legendary. I can hold 8 million, 67 million items. But I only have them in the trillions for the FE, so. I think we'll be able to get to the next tier. Alright, we finished all of create. What does this give me? Experience. So I think next time I'll keep on working through Botania. Uh, maybe I'll start looking at doing mechanism for the power. Yeah, nuclear power. I have to do ether with the wither to do this. So I have a trap wither, and then I stop to actually start productive bees. Alright, so I guess next time, I guess more magic shit. Thanks for watching! Did you like this video? If you did, press the like button, leave a comment, and share it. You can press the left button to subscribe, make sure you turn on notifications, and press the right one to watch more All the Mod 7. To the sky!